what's up everybody welcome to the batch review for the new kizuna batch uh this is a pretty normal batch which is kind of odd because there's no legend in it there's three rare recruits a five star that super evolves into a five plus and the six star that's available uh with evolution skulls so tentatively we like this so let's start with uh, the free-to-play unit, actually, and then go to the Legends and the Rare Recruits. So King is a quick driven slasher. He is the free-to-play unit from this Kizuna. Captain ability, driven and slasher, HP 1.25, attack 4.25, and removes his own bind, spare, paralysis, silence, and special reverse. So that's only for himself as captain, which I believe is the same or similar to his legend, so that's actually pretty nice. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities where that's pretty strong, depending on what his special is. As Sailor, he cannot be blown away, and is immune to paralysis, and he is immune to stun. So he has a lot of immunities built into him. His special reduces your HP by 60%. We're seeing a lot of characters that need low health, so that's nice. Reduces Despair by 5 turns, reduces Damage Reduction and Threshold by 3 turns, and boosts Color Affinity by 2.25 for 3 turns for Driven and Slasher that cannot be cleared. That's pretty good. Like, that's really solid. And that's only the 5 star. Uh boost damage against Zoro for driven characters as support, that's that's not bad, actually. <laughs> that is very not bad. Uh, he has crit, enrage, and super tandem. Crit and enrage or whatever, but super tandem might be kind of neat. Only requires Kaido on the crew, so just Kaido. Uh, 1.5x to driven powerhouse and striker for the rest of that combo turn. So that's, I mean, for a free to play character, you can't really go wrong because you'll have it at level five right away. And his PVP abilities, mm, just a quick skim, only buffs himself passively and also with special. So I don't see a lot of teams that he'll be good for. His buffs are only 12 seconds. So let's take a look at his five star version. Still quick driven slasher uh, in his five plus form. He now reduces cooldown by one, a slightly higher attack boost, same HP boost, same debuff removal, same sailor abilities. Uh, he now reduces despair in his special by six turns. Uh, the threshold damage and percent damage reduction is the same. The color affinity is the same for three turns, still can't be cleared. And then if Kaido is in your crew or set as a support for King, we will change his own orb, including block to tandem, so guarantees the super tandem. Prevents orb from being changed until perfect, yeah, guarantees the super tandem. Increases damage taken by 5 for 99 turns, so that's a self-inflicted debuff. That's pretty steep. 5x? Nullifies portion of damage. I think since it says nullifies, that's 100% damage reduction. Over 10,000 for 2 turns. And after 1 turn, completely removes increased damage taken and threshold damage reduction. I'm guessing that means from your crew. That is very odd. This is a very, very odd special ability. It's kind of neat, but this whole increased damage taken thing, and then removing it and the threshold damage reduction after one turn, very, very odd. I wonder why they included threshold damage reduction in there, but... I'm sure there's like a couple of things like a uh, version one jack where they didn't want you to keep extending the duration of this buff for too many turns. 
then everything else should be the same except for the rumble but it looks like it's just plus one level or plus a small amount of healing nothing remarkable there yeah nothing remarkable special in five plus though very interesting kind of cool uh a lot of good utility there so all right let's move on to the rare recruits let's start with marco he is strength fighter striker so works with white beard reduces special cooldown of all characters by one boosts strength dex quick hp 1.5 attack by four makes psi recovery matching if your hp is 50 percent or below boost attack by 4.25 instead um i will check to make sure and th this will be added to the database but it is likely that they probably have some sort of boosted captain ability that gives them 5.5x attack instead of 4x and 4.25 but i haven't put that in yet sailor ability if hp is 30 percent or less boost base attack i believe that's of all characters by 150 makes side orbs beneficial for all characters so i mean sailor abilities are decent captain ability is decent nothing really to write home about though uh, special, if HP is below 10%, boost damage dealt to defense down and increase damage taken enemies by 2.25 for 3 turns. That's pretty good. Synergizes with a lot of characters that released recently like Yamato and Whitebeard. Uh, after that, reduces threshold damage reduction and percent damage reduction by 6 turns. Reduces damage received by 90% for 2 turns. A lot of damage reduction in this set of units boost strength x quick orb effects by 2.25 for two turns i mean this is just really good there's not really much else to say there's good utility good damage reduction and good buffs there uh support is for strength characters it's damage reduction and stats so that's not really useful Potential ability is Enrage and Slot Bind. Five turns of Slot Bind. And that's it for Marco. I mean, overall, Marco is pretty nice. Uh, might be useful on occasion in the future, but for this, Kizuna probably will be very useful. All right, next is Frankie. Frankie is Shooter Free Spirit and Quick. Uh, shooter, we haven't had a lot of shooters in the recent batch, so... At least he's free spirit, but there's a lot of slasher strikers in the last few legends so, and character kits. So Frankie might not be boosted by every character, depending on who you use as captain. But captain ability of Frankie is very similar to Marco, except makes int and tandem orbs beneficial. Otherwise, I think it's identical. Yeah looks identical to me just difference in which orbs are matching sailor ability is the same except the orb matching is for int and then the special ability sets defense to zero if during that turn you hit two perfects sets enemies defense to zero again so this is like the there was a rare recruit frankie that did this or maybe it was a free to play frankie but there was a frankie that did this before so we're getting that again essentially I think it was Psy, it was one of the Psy Frankies. So now we're getting a quick one that does it. So that's nice. Reduces ship bind, bind, chain uh, coefficient reduction. That's what this says by six turns. So ship bind, bind, and chain coefficient reduction by six turns. Reduces HP by 95%, deals damage based on HP lost and then deals end of turn damage for three turns. Okay, yeah. Any character that deals end of turn damage is valuable. Uh, any character that reduces bind by six turns is valuable, and this 95% health cut is going to be pretty valuable. Let a, like, and that's ignoring the defense down. So, like, this is just like, all around, very good. Support. For quick damage reduction and stats. Nothing really 
good there. He has barrier pen, but the bad kind. You have to be above 90 or below 20. I don't know why they're doing it this way, where you have to be above or below, and it's only about 30% of your HP bar would activate barrier penetration instead of like 50%. It's kind of unfortunate. And then five turns of ship bind. So, all right, next is Inu Neko, young Inu Neko. They are quick slasher striker. I might have a typo in one of these. Oh, this is actually the support unit. That's right. That's why you don't have a limit break. This is the support unit. I thought this was a third Kizunori recruit unit. Uh, I didn't read the cost. So that's actually a surprise to me. So this doesn't matter for this unit. It's very minimal attack boost, HP boost, and an attack boost and reduces bind by one turn. Like. 99% of the time, the support rare recruit has just terrible abilities. However, supported characters... Oh god. Must be Quick Slasher Striker. All three. Quick Slasher Striker. And at level 5, at the start of battle 3, holy paragraph. Although it ends like right here. Reduces charge special cooldown by one reduces paralysis by three for the whole crew reduces duration of barriers by one. Oh boy and adds 10 percent attack to final tap for slasher and striker characters yeah that's pretty solid uh yeah that's pretty solid there's not much else to say about that that's really good the issue is, I mean, how many quick slasher strikers are there? There's 21 total. Actually, there's less. There's 12. <laughs> there's 12 quick slasher strikers in the end. 11, because you can't put them on themselves. And are any of these Inu Neko? No. So there's 11 in total valid supports for Inu Neko. I think it should have just been Quick Slasher, Quick Striker. Or some other condition. I don't know. Because realistically... You're probably not using Baby 5, this Killer, this Baby 5, or this Squad, ever, or this Cracker, this Kaku, maybe. A lot of people won't have this Rebecca. This Killer, maybe, you might use every once in a while. Leonero and Ganryu, you might use. Like, a lot of these are... Yeah, maybe, because they're utility units at the start of Battle 3, too. Yeah, it's meant for, like, Kizuna and Treasure Map and stuff like that. It's built specifically for it. You don't have to use a special for it. You don't need to deal with, like, if you get silenced in any way. Like, the characters you're going to use it on are probably Yamato and Roger Odin, and that's probably it, if I'm going to be honest. They don't even support any of the rare recruits from this batch, so that's kind of unfortunate. Alright, now to look at the 6 plus Kaido. So Kaido is quick driven powerhouse, I believe. Uh, let me quickly double check. I thought he was striker. No, P is driven powerhouse in six star form, so. Stayed the same, nothing changed there. Feel free to just evolve him. I believe it is just a straight upgrade. So, 
boosts quick and driven characters attack by 5x by 5.25 or 5.5 when you use his special in the same turn boosts all other characters attack by 4.5x and boosts HP of everyone by 1.5 or 1.65 so now instead of just boosting quick he now boosts driven so that's pretty good 1.65 HP is a lot of HP if you take 10,000 damage or more uses special at the start of the next turn and that's it I believe that's the only notable thing because this is just explaining how that works and we know how that works so yeah uh, no utility in the captain effectively he just got more HP and now boost driven Silly abilities are the same special ability uh, at base if you have enemies with increased damage taken when special is launched boost damage dealt to increase damage taken by 2.25 otherwise 2.25 increased damage taken debuff for one turn deals 1 million ta uh, 1 million typeless damage to all enemies Changes all orbs to matching, changes own orb, including block, to Wano. Okay. That's his base special. What is it after level limit break? Uh, the increased damage taken status effect is 2.5. If the enemy is immune to status effects, applies increased damage taken, ignoring immunity, by 2x for one turn. Okay. That's... I mean, that's respectable. It's decent. I'll say that. Kaido is decent. Uh, it gives you a guaranteed way of getting increased damage taken. Gives you full matching orbs. It gives you a Wano orb. And if you're using double Kaido or a Kaido captain, stuff like that uh, you can exploit that let's see super special below 50% reduces threshold and percent damage reduction by three turns deals 2 million damage to all enemies transforms quick to super quick that's mostly the same I think maybe this percent damage reduction was added in so I mean overall it's good Kaido always had a decent super special, so it's pretty good. So, uh, so portability is the same, excuse me. And then Rumble. Remove Silence, damage reduction from Strength. Quick, HP level 6, blow away level 6, defense level 4. For the first 50 seconds, boost own attack and speed by 10. I believe somebody compared this with the 6 star version and it's basically the same. And then special. Targets enemies with defense town, then 2.75x damage, and then a 50% chance for 20 seconds of paralysis. Which doesn't change between level limit break and limit break. Yeah, between level limit break. And then target strength enemies for a 70% chance of silence. As opposed to 50% chance. 5 seconds of defense down. I don't know why they stuck with the 5 seconds. That's probably my biggest gripe with this character. Uh, it's basically this character gets to take advantage of his the debuffs he inflicts and no one else does. And then these uh, status debuffs aren't guaranteed. Like, Paralysis isn't that strong. I don't know why Paralysis has lower chance than Silence. Because if you have a special charged, you can just use it when you're paralyzed. But when you're silenced, you can't. So, I would have liked to see like 100% chance paralyze. Or maybe three units or something like that. I don't know. Something. 
but that's Kaido. Overall, I think Kaido is a decent upgrade. I don't think it's a bad upgrade by any means. Uh, I definitely think uh, King is going to be the star of the show for a lot of people. Very good special ability. Uh, somebody in chat mentioned that Dogstorm and Cat Viper would be able to support the unevolved Edward Newgate, which is a good point. So there's like three characters that you could really use with the new Inu Neko. So hopefully they do more characters who are quick striker slasher, but next month is probably gonna be like Psy Free Spirit Fighter or something like that at this rate. So but yeah, that is the re my review of the new Kizuna batch that's coming out soon. Uh, the database update will be going through soon and then the full calculator update will be going soon afterwards uh, so thank you for your patience in that regard but thank you everyone for watching tell me what you think down in the comments and i will catch you next time stay safe good night i will see you next time